down, the stakes are different. Ignite without several bigs in particular, and we'll see how that plays. We were playing because we wanted to stay. We're meant to be here. Ignite coming up huge. I just kept saying, feed Jalen, feed Jalen. Every time he would touch it, he would score. Win and you're in for Ignite. If we were going to go home, man, I was going to give a performance that people were going to remember us by. G League Ignite win their first ever game. Another victory. Jalen Green and company improved to 2 0. Oh. Ignite entered as one of three unbeaten teams, and they stay that way. We're hot, 4 0. Oh. On the run out, it's Jalen Adams. This is definitely the biggest challenge they've had up until this point of their undefeated season. We lost the last three out of the four games that we played. I think we're still trying to find our identity. Ignite without Kaminga. Very much in the playoff mix. The last three spots on the line. Our last game against the Spurs. Ignite started the year 4-0. and They're 3-7 and since. We have to win this game. And we beat the Spurs. We clinched the playoff spot. If we were going to go home, man, I was going to give a performance that people were going to remember us by. Ignite playing this win and you're in game without one of their better players. Jonathan Kaminga out for the second straight game. So we got a chance to go to the playoffs and take it. Cam Reynolds knocks it down with that smooth lefty stroke. Amir Johnson backing down. He's got the four for Ignite in this opening quarter. Jalen Green is heard from here in the first quarter, the team's leading scorer. Green grabs that rebound. Headman feed to Isaiah Todd. I honestly think the coaches did a great job of keeping us calm. That night before, it was looking like it was over for us almost. You know, people were packing up and stuff. It made us feel like we wanted to go out with a bang if we were going to go out. So we all went out there and we just played as hard as we could. Eight point game in the final two minutes. The roll for Ashley. Nation Nix patiently wheels around the defender and banks it in. The 17 0 first quarter run, creating some separation. Ignite has it up by 14, look away pass, underneath the Todd who slams it. For the first quarter we come out cooking, second quarter we come out cooking again. Green elevating, swish. Everybody knew we had to go out and take care of business, everybody was focused, everybody was on their P's and Q's. Turning the corner, laying it in, and one, Isaiah Todd attacking the rim. Bounce pass and the roll for Jonathan Kasababu. And now Nick's driving in with a hard take. Jack picks it up, he signals he wants to play for one, but then he finds Green, cutting to the basket. Jack to Green for the two-handed slam. Isaiah Todd is into double figures, he's got 12. We were moving the ball. We was getting dunked. We was making highlight plays. And, you know, all that, you know, increased our energy on defense. Now Williams in the paint. The block by Todd. Johnson a perfect seven of seven. Amir Johnson eight of eight from the floor. Amir been here before. A little old, but he good. And it's that type of night for Amir Johnson. Jalen Green driving in. Johnson, a perfect 10 of 10. That's Williams. Ignite are just locked in right now. Brown, step back. Got it. Great move by Bobby Brown with the finish. I say in time. When you reach that blackout state, nothing else really matters. Todd strokes down another three. Back-to-back -back buckets from Todd. It's like the ultimate zone of focus, like to the very detail, like the precision of your step, the precision of like the path of the ball when you shoot. All that's clicking and happening so fast but slow in your mind at the same time. Nation Nix right to the rim. Sing in and out and it stays down. <laughs> With their backs against the wall. 
Ignite coming up huge, and we are moving on to the playoffs. Now we got the eighth seed in the playoffs. We need to win two games to make it a championship. The goal and the plan moving forward is to just take it one game, one possession at a time. Nobody expected us to make the playoffs, and we did. And now we have to go into the playoffs and show people that we're meant to be here. We got custom shoes by Serato. Hopped on Zoom one day, we told him exactly what we wanted. In three weeks, he knocked out five pairs of shoes for us. On my shoe, I got a skyline of my city. On the soles part, I had names that I wanted on the shoe. Most of his stuff is just for my country. I hand up getting my flag on. Just being from the Congo and just being one of a kind, just being one of them kids that made to this point. It's something that my country, not just my country, all Africa, all continent proud of me. We got the Isaiah Todd on the back right here, the Z right here with the sevens, along with the seven, the fire seven. He brought it to life, he's a fryer. I made sure to get as much of what everybody asked for on there as possible. So got everybody's number on there with the flame number on there on the tongues. Hopefully whenever I get drafted, first two games, I'm going to rock the shoes. Never going to wear them. You can't mess them up. It's too, they're too nice. Hey, it's Overtime Larry here to tell y'all that this episode of League Ready is brought to you by State Farm. The G League bubble was full of all types of surprises. But when it comes to insurance, you may be surprised about everything you get from State Farm all for a surprisingly great rate. Don't forget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Planning is 905, once again. Coming in pretty confident because we beat them before in our third game of the season. The Ignite without several bigs in particular, and we'll see how that plays against a deep and strong Raptors 905 team. Now the stakes are different. We were playing because we wanted to stay. We didn't know when the next time we were going to play basketball was. We just go out and show out and win this game. And now here, the postseason underway. How about the start there by Jarrett Jack? Here's Johnson down low, and the young gun, Daisha Nix, gets on the board for the first time. There is a scorer right there, and Matt yes, Moody, sir. he knocks down the first three of this ball game. They got out on us early. This time the team looks a little different. And they got new faces, and they got guys that, you know, we didn't play against the first time. Matt Morgan, he is a dangerous team, and the Raptors already lead it by nine. Here's young Jalen Green, giving it up to Brown with seven on the shot clock, and a splash on the three by Bobby Brown. Good work down low by Brandon Ashley. Down to two on the shot clock. Ellenson fires the three and knocks it down. I just know that this team plays hard, and we didn't match it as well as we wanted to, you know. Alizé Johnson, the jump hook. It goes down. Vince, what a start for <laughs> Alizé Johnson. And you see Bobby Brown answers with another three, so he's feeling it now. But now, the Ignite need a stop. And the three goes down for Trace Tinkle, the outstanding young player for the Raptors 905. They just started to hit shots, hit shots, and hit shots. We weren't really taking care of the ball. We knew that it was one of our home, so we were clawing and fighting and kneeing. And there's the corner three by Reggie Hurd, his first points of this game. They'll need a team effort here to take on this sizzling hot Raptors team. And a That's, good looking drive. Yes. And there you go, VC. First That's bucket for Jalen Green. Mr. Johnson once again. Yes, sir. He gets an easy dunk. And now an opportunity for the 905 to take their largest lead. Stauskas behind a screen. He gets it to go down. 905 has their foot on the gas. Steps back and Green knocks down the three. Jalen Green beginning to heat up. That, Look at the, that uh, hang tight yeah. by Green. 
Knight picking it up defensively. Here's Green to Brown in transition, and Brown lays it in. Jalen Green, he's a two-way player. Play offense and defense. Score the ball however he wants. I just kept saying, feed Jalen, feed Jalen. Every time he would touch it, he would score. As we approach the 32nd mark, trying to chip away once more. Green steps back into one, and a good-looking move by Jalen Green. Three-pointer to end the third quarter goes down by Jalen Green. A big-time shot for the Ignite. Just got to keep playing. Find a way to come back or try to come back to me. The three oh. goes down again for Matt Morgan, his fifth of the game. Isaiah Todd answering with the three, and it's back down to 12. We're cutting it close. We're coming back, and then they just started killing again, and we couldn't close it out. But they were just hitting threes left and right. And we just couldn't stop him. Like, even sometimes we were there with our hand in his face, and he's still making. Everything going in for the 905 right now. We all know it's over for us. You know, we get knocked out, man, but we walk off the court with our chins high. Obviously, it hurt, but with what we came home with, I think we were pretty satisfied. Nobody expected us to make the playoffs. And we did. We still made history. We still bet on ourselves and it turned it out right. We still were the first ones to do this and you know it was successful. The experience in the G League bubble was tough, but every day was a learning experience. I'm super proud of our guys of the group because it's something never done before. We're the first people to do it. We just brought back coming out of high school. That was lit. One thing I took from the bubble is just all the advice that Jerry Jack, Bobby Brown, Reggie Hearn, Cody, and Amir. Every vet advice that they gave me, it just stuck with me ever since I left. What's the dream? To go number one. But as long as I get drafted, I'm good. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada now, and just getting ready for the NBA Combine when it comes around in June. Coming into this basketball thing, I really didn't know anything about rankings or about things that people cared about. I was just playing basketball. I was number one freshman or something like that. And then, you know, the noise started to die down a little bit, and that could do something too. Um, but I took it as motivation. If I could go from not being on the draft boards to being drafted in the first round or in the lottery, that right there is enough. We made a history, and we're really proud of what we did. You know, we handled adversity very well especially for a couple of guys straight out of high school. You know the vibes, fam. Listen, the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings. If you want to get drippy like your boy, you know you do, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. You know what it is. It's the O-Way or No Way.